Anthony Slater here with Darnell Mayberry. We're inside the peak sitting courtside after a Thunder win. Believe it or not, this is the Thunder's seventh straight win at home. They're 11 and two with Russell Westbrook in the lineup at home and seven and zero when Kevin Durant's in the lineup. Uh, so we're gonna, unlike in the last few weeks, we're gonna take a positive outlook on this video. They beat the Magic tonight. Not a good Magic team, but they pretty much dominated from start to finish. Russell Westbrook has a triple double. Uh, he was really the star. Yeah, not only Russell Westbrook, but they got a lot of contributions. Stephen Adams, Deion Waiters, who started in place of Kevin Durant, did not play in this one. Um, and Serge Ibaka was good, I thought. So Anthony Morrow off the bench found his shooting stroke a little bit tonight after he struggled in January. Good sign, him opening the month, shooting well from three in February. So uh, a lot of positives tonight. I thought the defense was good. I thought the ball movement was good. The ball security was spectacular. Uh, they defended without fouling, just on and on and on. A lot of positive tonight. Uh, you're right in the sense they got a lot of you know contributions from everywhere. But uh, tell me if I'm wrong, but I feel like a lot of it was because of the game Russell Westbrook played. It's the type of game he played in December when they went on a little run, and he was you know he's getting MVP chatter. And he just completely controls the game. He's getting everyone great looks. He's passing at 14 assists tonight. Mm -hmm. I think the reason why they got contributions roster wide was because of the way Russell Westbrook played. Yeah, he was under control. He played within himself throughout the night. You know, they had 16 assists on 22 made field goals in the first half. Russell Westbrook had 10 of those 16 assists. So that just goes to show you kind of the hand he had in everyone getting involved tonight. And you know, I just really thought he played an excellent floor game, rebounded well. I think the 11 rebounds, as you mentioned, the 14 assists, a game high. Uh, and then he scored. He really didn't get out of control and take bad shots. Uh, he played within himself, and I thought he played extremely well. Two newsworthy items tonight. Mitch McGarry back in the lineup. Uh, second time he's played this season. Last time he played, he comes in, plays probably a little, a little too hard, and then gets shin splints, and he's actually sat like almost two months with him. But uh, probably more importantly would be Kevin Durant. He doesn't play again. Uh, third missed game because of the sprained big toe. 26 missed game this season. Didn't really need him against the Magic, but moving forward, you know, obviously they're going to need him back. Are you worried about this latest injury? No. You know, we talked about it the last time we did this post-game video inside the peak. And, you know, I said I'm not worried about the toe as much as I am worried about his rhythm and the team's rhythm. They still have only played about 21 games with their full starting lineup. So, they got to get them back going at some point here. Uh, but the toe, you know, it might be one of those things that they just sit him out maybe through All-Star break. or uh, That that sounds strange. It sounds like a, like a little much because they need these victories. But I think they're going to probably maybe try to sit him as long as possible to make sure he's right so uh, he doesn't come back I and make it worse. I got two issues with that. Number one, how about you just sit the All-Star break? I mean, I know he's an All-Star, <laughs> but just sit during the All-Star right. break. That might be a good idea. And two, you got some big games coming up. Right. I mean, two straight games against the Pelicans, who are now sitting there 26 and 22 in the playoff race, uh, ahead of the Thunder. They play them Wednesday, they play them Friday, and then the Clippers here Sunday. I mean, they need to win these games before the All Star break, uh, specifically the next two. I think Durant's got to give it a go, just like he did in Memphis. Yeah, I think he will. Uh, it's just a counter argument. The, the the other way of looking at it is saying. You know, if you do rush him back and he makes it worse, then what's the point of having him for four or five games when he could have easily just sat and gotten healthy? Yeah, so that's something that I think the Thunder is, you know, kind of. I think in most, year, in most years, when at this point in the season they're sitting there at 38 and 13, yeah, I mean, do that for sure. But right now, you know, one loss could be a devastating loss. They could probably only lose eight or nine more games. Durant doesn't play till the All Star break. They may lose four of those. So it's possible. I think he's got to play. I think he knows he's got to play. I think it was just the magic tonight. They figured they could get the win. They did get the win. Uh, Pelicans on Wednesday in New Orleans. Pelicans here on Friday. Uh, that'll do it for us tonight. For the best undercover team anywhere, stay tuned to newsok.com and every day in Oklahoma.